Dr. Galati. Paging Dr. Galati. Here to help you with your medical questions, Dr. Joe Galati at Methodist Hospital. House Calls, brought to you by Life Gift Organ Donation Center. Now, Dr. Galati. Good Friday morning, Dr. Joe. Man, it's always great to be here. Glad to have you. Got a couple of great questions for All you. Right. The first one up is Edith from Houston. What's the difference between table salt and sea salt? Is sea salt beneficial? Well, Anna, I'd have to say a big no. There is a, uh, a, a bit of a come on from uh, the consumer standpoint that s- regular table salt is not healthy for you, which all of us say you should cut down on. But sea salt, gee, sea salt is natural. Maybe I could use more sea salt. Absolutely wrong. Sea salt, I don't care if it's from the Dead Sea, the Mediterranean, or Galveston, it is sodium chloride, and you need to keep your intake less than 2,000 milligrams a day. It's basic chemistry. It doesn't matter where the salt is from. So patients come in all the time, and they say, yeah, you told me last month to cut down on uh, table salt, but I'm now I'm using sea salt, which is natural, and I have to say absolutely not. So those listening, great question. Do not be fooled by this. All right. Our other question this morning comes from Margaret here in Houston. What's the best way to help my 16-year-old daughter lose weight? Boy, uh, we could be here all uh, morning, JP. I I came up with eight points that all parents need to listen to, as well as adults. Cut out all soda. Cut out fast food. More fruits and vegetables. That's pretty obvious. Lean meat. More exercise, 35 to 45 minutes a day. Don't skip breakfast, especially for young girls. Obese girls tend to skip breakfast. No diet drinks. Again, studies in research have shown young girls that drink diet soda tend to gain weight and reduce the salt intake, as we spoke about earlier. The obesity epidemic in teenagers is horrible. 18% of all teenagers are overweight. If you're African-American and female, it's about 26%. So more exercise, dietary intervention. Just the bottom line, it, it always it's so, is. We like to say it's so simple, but... It's, it's, it has to be implemented. Things one thing, doing is another. Thank you, Dr. Joe. Of course, don't forget to email your question to Dr. Galati at our website, ktrh.com, keywords, house calls, and you can listen to Dr. Galati every Sunday evening on Your Health First from 7 to 8 right here on KTRH.